प्रकृति क्रियमाणाने गुणे कर्माणि सर्वसा अहंकार विमूल आत्मा कथा अहम इति मन्नते कृष्णा से दैट ऑल दिस विलिंग एंटिटीज वी आर ऑल विलिंग एंटिटीज एक्चुअली एवरी वन ऑफ आर the spirit soul living entities it does not matter whether i am a human being or other than human being lower animal bird bees trees or higher celestial beings there are many varieties of life eight million four hundred thousand नाइन जलजान हम लोग खाए इन दी वाटर दे आर लिविंग एंटिटी ऑफ नाइन हंड्रेड थाउजेंड वेराइट वी सिंपली नो देर आर सम फीसेस एंड क्रोकोडाइल्स ऑफ सास इन दी वाटर बट शास्त्र वेदिक शास्त्र they did definite information how many forms and varieties of life are there within the world 900000 how many we have seen our scientists our botanists how many they have seen so actually you cannot have perfect knowledge by the experimental method now if i say i don't say that the shastra says there are uh, 900000 forms of aquatics so you cannot say no because we have no experience we have no experience but From the Shastra, Vedic literature, we get this information. For no purana, we are not speaking unauthorizedly. The Shastras are accepted by the Acharyas, great teachers, and we get knowledge from the Shastra. I may be imperfect, but I get knowledge from the perfect soul. That is perfect. Just like a child may ask his father, "Hey, what is this?" Because he is astonished that the sound is uh, very loud. So the child may not know. He inquires from the father, "Father, what is this?" The father says, "My dear child, this is my crocodile." And when you speak through this machine, your sound becomes loud. So the child takes the knowledge from the father, and if he repeats or he understands firmly, my father has said it is perfectly right. Then his knowledge is perfect. The child may be imperfect, but because he receives the knowledge. From the authority, father, his knowledge is there. Uh, so our basic process is like that. We do not make any research. Uh, it is not possible to come to the right knowledge by so-called research, because. Uh, Our senses are imperfect, uh, just like we see through the uh, telescope, and we come under certain conclusion. But the fact is that the I am the same person seen through the telescope, and telescope is also manufactured by me or by you. So machine is imperfect. And my seeing power is also imperfect. Then how you can have perfect knowledge? The machine is created by a person 
who has got imperfect knowledge. And the seer is also a person, he is also imperfect. The imperfect person is seen through the imperfect machine, then how you can conclude perfect knowledge? This is not possible. Uh, therefore, the method is, according to the basic knowledge, that if you want perfect knowledge, then you should approach the perfect person. Uh, this is the basic injunction. If you want perfect knowledge, then you must approach a perfect person. Good. <coughs> now, at the present moment there are so many gurus, how you understand who is perfect? That is also another problem. So that perfection is, that I have already explained, that the child who has heard from his father that this is microphone, and if he speaks that this is microphone, then his knowledge is perfect. The child is not perfect. But because he has heard from the perfect authority, what he is speaking of his child, that is perfect. Similarly, this guru means who has heard from the perfect person. Uh, that his knowledge is perfect because he has heard. This is called parampara system or disciple success. Uh, in this Bhagavad Gita we find in the fourth chapter, Krishna says, even parampara praptam Imam Raja Rishayu Bhigu. Parampara. Krishna is the original person, perfect. And he said, Imam Vivasate Yugam Pratavan Aham Abhayam Vivasyam Manavipraho Manu Ikha Kavit Dravit Evam Parampara Pratam Imam Raja Rishayu Bhigu. <coughs> Sakalena Yuganasta Parantapa. Krishna is explaining to Arjuna. He finds this statement in the fourth chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Krishna says that this perfect knowledge of Yuga system, as I am explaining in this, now it is not Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita means the uh, generally in this Western world they say song of God. So uh, Bhagavad Gita is spoken by the Supreme Personality of God. Uh, so he says that this is not a new literature. Uh, millions of years ago I spoke about this yoga system, imam vivasati yoga, pratyaman, pratyaman means I said, uh, om vivasan. Vivasan is the name of the sun god, or the president of the sun planet. Just like here in this planet, we have got uh, presidents in each country. So, now there are so many presidents. Formerly, even on this planet, there was one president. Uh, they are trying to be united. The United Nations organization, they want to unite. Uh, for the last twenty years, the United Nations are trying to unite. But the result is we are disunited. In Islam, making one flag, the flags are increasing every year. Uh, this is Pakistan, this is Hindustan, this is this, this is that, this is that. They are not united. How they can be united? Uh, they cannot be united because uh, 
Pratikat Kiramanani Gunayi Parmanu Sarva. Everyone is under the control of the material nature. Full control. So, so long we are in the material world, controlled by the external material energy, there is no possibility of unity. There is not possible. Because, Pratitya Kiramayanani Gunai Karmayani Sarva. In Pratiti, material nature, there are three different qualities. Goodness, passion, and ignorance. Well, the, all the varieties of life, they are under the control of the material nature, and therefore you see varieties of life. Varieties. There are three qualities. You multiply three into three, it becomes nine. And if you multiply nine into nine, you become, you see, eighty-one. So therefore, uh, all these varieties of life, they are being controlled. Because not controlled, he accepts to be controlled. Prakriti does not want, nature does not want to control. Uh, just like police force. Police force is not meant for controlling you. But when you accept to be controlled by police, when you become a criminal, then police force controls. Not that police force is made by the government are necessary to control. No. He is to help you. The government has arrived. Police man in every crossing, uh, they are wandering in the street, they are meant for helping you. They are not for, meant for controlling. But when you agree to be controlled by the police, then it is controlled. Uh, then you become under the police control. Uh, if you become criminal, and what is that criminality? The criminality is that Krishna Bhulya Dhiru Bhavamata. Krishna is the original enjoyer, God. When I speak Krishna, it means God. God has got many names according to different uh, religious system, but the real name is Krishna. And you will be glad to understand that this Krishna, it is a Greek word, and it is the parvhatic pronunciation of Krishna. This Greek word, the meaning of Krishna in Sanskrit dictionary, and the Greek dictionary always the same uh, about this word. And from this Krishna, the word has got Christ or Christ. So, uh, even in Christian world, the uh, God's name is there. Just as the Christ or just as the son of Krishna or Krishna. Uh, so, Lord Jesus Christ said, My Lord, hallowed be thy name. Uh, he wants to glorify the name of the Lord. Uh, and some people say that there is uh, no name of him. How? He Lord Jesus Christ says, Hello be thy name. There must be name. The name is there. But he did not pronounce it because the people at that time will not be able to understand. Or maybe some reason. But he says there is name. 
So we are this make, making this propaganda, Krishna consciousness movement. Eh? We, Hello, divine name. My Lord, Krishna, the personality of God. Let your holy name be glorified. This is our moment. Uh, it is not a sectarian, it is a very scientific moment. Scientific moment because at the present moment we are all godless, forgotten. What is God and what to speak of is name. They do not believe in God and what to speak of his name, fame, his place, his activities, his form, his quality. How we can know? There is no educational system uh, about the science of God. This movement, Krishna consciousness movement, is teaching the science of God. And if you accept the name of the God, name of God, Krishna, which is also a part in other a system also, uh, then uh, you will be able to associate with God immediately. <coughs> because God is absolute. Absolute means there is no difference. Uh, just like in the relative world, this is relative world. Material world means relative world. Relative world means the sun. As soon as I say the sun, there must be a father. Uh, as soon as I say a friend, there must be another man, friend. Uh, as soon as I say water, there must be something as water. <coughs> but in the absolute world, the name water and the water is the same. Uh, this is called absolute. Uh, no different separation. Uh, so in the kingdom of God, the God is God and His Son is also God. Uh, yeah, the uh, everything, there is no difference between the name and the substance. Here in this material world, the name and the substance differ. It's like if I am thirsty, I want water. <laughs> so the water must continue. If I simply chant, water, 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 that will not be it. Because it is relative. But, in the transcendental word, form, uh, form. Krishna is uh, the name of God and it is God. <coughs> so, by chanting Hare Krishna, you are directly in contact with God. This is the meaning of Hare Krishna. Directly come. Now, if you imitate, that these boys and girls are chanting Hare Krishna. It is a name only. So, he, let me chant, and instead of Krishna, let me chant John. But that chanting will not help you because you cannot chant more than three, four times or ten times. That's all. But this is the proof. And this Hare Krishna, this chanting, if you ask these boys and girls, they can chant continually for twenty-four hours in excess. Continue, without any stoppage. That is Krishna. <clears throat> you cannot take any other name and chant and enjoy like that. Uh, so it is practical experience. I am touring all over the world three times in a year. And because this chanting is absolute. Everyone is joined. Europe, America, Africa, Canada, Japan, China, everywhere. Uh, nobody says, 
that this is a word from India. Why shall I turn Indian name? No. It is God's name. <coughs> God is neither Indian nor American nor otherwise, uh, neither Christian nor Hindu nor Muslim. God is God. So, we are at the present moment rotting in this material world. <coughs> Purusha Prakutistha. Uh, that we also mentioned in the thirteenth chapter, it is said that Purusha <coughs> Prakutistha. What is that now? Sorry to. Purusha Prakutistha. Purusha Prakutistha is. Yes. Purusha Prakutistha hi bhumte prakutijani guna. Karanam guna sangha asya sadatha joni janmatha. Purusha Prakutistha means the enjoyer. Uh, every one of us sitting in this hall, we have got different mentality to enjoy different, different dress, different mentality, different opinion, because uh, <coughs> every one of us is individual. So this individuality is both in the spiritual world and the material world. But in the material world, our individuality is different on account of associating or infecting different qualities of the material nature. Because there are different types of patients in the hospital. Why? Because each and every one of them is infected by different types of germs or disease. Yet it is explained, Purusha, the living entity, Prakritistha being in this material world. Prakriti means this material world. We do not belong to this material world. Uh, just like a person in the prison house, he is a citizen. But when he goes into the prison house, he has got different sense, different uh, and punishment, and different dress. We are also dressed differently. Similarly, we are all criminals. Uh, criminals, what is that? Criminality. Because we have forgotten God. This is criminal. Uh, Krishna Bhuliyadi Bhagavan Chakare. You will find in this practical experience, suppose a boy is a very rich man's son, but still he thinks, why shall I live under the uh, rules and regulation of my father? Let me go out, I shall enjoy life uh, free. Uh, free the what freedom? Uh, you are already rich man's son, you can enjoy the property of your very, very rich, powerful father, and what independence he will enjoy, this is criminal. This is criminal. We are sons of God, part and parcel of God, and God means Almighty. So we have got Almighty Father, and living His place, have come to this material world, to enjoy independently, that is criminal. And we are suffering, that is explained here. Prakritistha, being placed in this material world, Purusha, Pumte Prakritijana Guna, is, is enjoying, but uh, the enjoying the quality of the more of material things. Just like a tiger, he is also enjoying. He is thinking, I am very strong. Oh, I have got so power, so much jaws and legs. I can jump over any animal immediately. He is 
please in that position. But you know the tiger or the lion, uh, they are so unfortunate that they do not get daily food. In spite of becoming so strong. Because Prakriti Jan Gunan is under the influence of the material nature. Uh, he, the tiger may be very powerful, but he remains always hungry. Uh, very powerful. Because the other animals they know that in that corner of the forest there is tiger, nobody goes. Where he can get food. Uh, Hardly, chance, by chance he gets one animal and jumps over it. Uh, this is called Prakriti Jan Guna. He thought by becoming tiger, I shall be very much proud of enjoying. Uh, but Prakriti says, no sir, he cannot get any daily food. That is not possible. Therefore, Prakriti Kira Mahanani Guna Yukar Mahanisa, here the so-called tiger, so-called big man, just like in America, the president is a big man, uh, but now he is put into such a condition that he is full of anxiety. At any moment he may be kicked out. Uh, this is the position. You cannot be happy either as president, Nixon, or tiger, or bear, cash and dog, a human being, or Lord Brahma. That is not possible. That is not possible. You must be full of anxiety. Because this is unnatural life. To <coughs> understand that I am this body, uh, this is foolishness. I am not this body. I am the soul within this body. That is explained in Bhagavad Gita, uh, in the second chapter. Dehi na shinja tha dehi. Dehi, the proprietor of the board, just like you are the proprietor of your shirt and coat. You are not shirt and coat. You are the proprietor of the shirt and coat. You are dressed with shirt and coat in different colors and different shapes. Similarly, the living entity, it does not matter whether it is a man or animal, he is part and parcel of God. But he deserves certain dress, a certain body. So, Prakriti nature has given. Uh, so, this is going on. Purusha Prakriti Sthaji. Purusha means the, he is not enjoyed, but he is thinking enjoyed. Uh, he is not enjoyed. At any moment, his so called enjoyment will be finished. Uh, uh, that's why like in the Western world, they are thinking that we are enjoying life. Of course, enjoying life and to, in his consideration. But how long shall he enjoy this life? He uh, have got very nice car or very nice building and you are enjoying as Australian, as American, that's all life. But how long you shall remain American and Australian? That question does not come to the dull breath, because he does not know that he is eternal. And this is temporary dread. I, somehow or other, I wanted this and Prakriti, nature has given me. But nature has not given me the right to remain as American, Australian, Indian, no. That is not possible. You want it, enjoy this life for a certain time, and then again you create your desire. Uh, now I am very uh, powerful, very happy. Let me love dog instead of God. That means you are preparing your next life as dog. Because it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita that uh, <coughs> at the time of death, the mentality which you have created throughout the whole life, that will carry you to other body, lost. Uh, it is very sad. Uh, 
Antukale itu manus marah. So itu cina dia buat this facility of life, comfortable life. Do not misuse it for becoming next kind of job. Utilize it to become next life God. That is success. We have got advanced intelligence. But uh, this intelligence is given to you for understanding God and your position that for, by forgetting God you are in this material world and in this material world you are changing one body to another. Sometimes American body, sometimes Jenny's body, uh, sometimes celestial body, sometimes dog's body, cat's body, tiger's body. This science is unknown. But this is the science. Kirmanani, Gunai Kirmanani, Ahankara. We have got this body, that body, this body, under the uh, direction of the prakriti, material nature. So therefore, intelligence is there, if I am eternal, nahannate hannamane sarire. You are not dying. Hannamane says that you can experience practically daily. How is that? When you sleep at night, then you dream, means subtle body. So this activities of this gross body stop. You again work in the subtle body. You dream that you have gone somewhere or in the forest or somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. But you forget that my real body is lying in this world. You do not remember. This is practical. So I change the at my side and so I change from this gross body lying on bed in a very nice apartment, skyscraper building. But I have gone to the forest. I am uh, in, in fronting a big tiger and I find. In this way I am fine. Uh, the friends say, why you are tired? Tiger. 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 Where is tiger? Uh, this is called Satya. So we are changing daily at night from this gross body to the Satya body. And again, the dream is over from the subtle body again to the gross body. This year, every one of us has got this experience. Therefore, I am the India Purusha. I am changing since the board. This way, that. This is my tradition. So, one who is intelligent, that I change body. And different bodies. Uh, I am eternal. So what is my eternal business? This is Atharata Brahma Vidyasa. This is called inquiry of the spiritual life. Uh, this is a very simple thing. When I am simply changing body, uh, then what is my real position? Uh, this is intent. When a man comes to this position, on this platform, to inquire actually what I am, well, that is the beginning of human life. Otherwise it is animal life. The animal also thinks, I am dog, I am tiger, I am king. Or similarly, if I think, I am Mr. such and such, I am president, I am this, I am that. You are none of these sir. These are all designations. For the temporal. For a certain period, ten years, five years, six years, at most hundred years, then finish. But you are eternal. So, here it is say, Purusha, I am. Purusha, I am a giant. So, Purusha Prakit is so, so long he is in this material world. He bhoomte. Gunta means enjoy. Not enjoyment, we think we are enjoying, but we are suffering, actually. And because we cannot understand uh, what is suffering, suffering there is, uh, sometimes we come to understand, but we are accepting the suffering as enjoy. Uh, 
A man is working very hard, eh? very hard, whole day. Eh? He is a, this is not enjoyment. Eh? You have got a car, but you are running a 70 miles free, going to your a business, and there you are earning hundreds and thousands of dollars. So you are thinking that you are enjoying, but this labor is suffering you for you. And in order to forget this suffering, then I take to wine, take to drink, take to that, to forget this suffering. So actually we are suffering, but we are accepting it as enjoying. This is called illusion. So, whatever we are doing in certain type of body in this material world, that is suffering. That is not enjoying. Because why you are placed uh, because I want to enjoy life like that. So Purusha Prakitastahi, Bhumte, Prakitinyan Guna, and this profit is nothing but uh, 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 acceptance of the quality of material nature. Uh, and that is very practical, we can understand. In this life, we are getting, I get, uh, say, fifty thousand dollars in a check. So I think that I have got fifty thousand dollars. But what is this? This fifty thousand dollars is a piece of paper. This is called illusion. In this way, you study your life, you will see if you are sober, if you are actually thoughtful, you will find that this is not my life. This is not my life. But I am falsely thinking that I am enjoying life. Therefore, frustration. Next stage is frustration. Oh. Everyone, we are frustrated uh, because we are in this material world. Uh, the Prasad Maharaj says, uh, a great devotee, that his father asked me, my dear boy, what best thing you have learned? He said, my dear father, he did not say father, his father was first class materialist. Say, he addressed him the best of the demons. Because anyone who is very much sensuous, very much attached to sense gratification, they are called demon. And those persons who do not indulge in sense gratification, but utilize this body or this life for uh, God realization, Krishna realization, they are called gods. Uh, there are two classes of demon and God. Those who are engaged in God consciousness, they are not God but God be. And those who are not, because this human life is meant for this purpose, uh, forgetting our father, forgetting our God. God. We are a criminal within this material world. Therefore, our only business is how to get out of this prison house and go back to home, back to God. Uh, so this Krishna consciousness movement is trying to uh, liberate these foolish persons who are entangled in this material world and changing one body after another, uh, sometimes very happy, and sometimes very distressed. Uh, uh, this is going. Uh, therefore, Prahlad Maharaj said, Tathadu manne surabhadya dehina. My dear father, or the best of the demons, uh, you are asking me, so I say, I have learned this. What is that? That these people who are always full of anxiety, Asadgrahat, because they have accepted this material world. Tasthadu manne surabhadya dhikna, sada samadvidna dhyam asadgrahat. These persons, either in human being or animal or bird and beast, full of anxiety. If you bring one bird, he is free, he gives some grain, he will come to eat, but he will look like this. Nobody is coming to give me. Nobody is coming to give me. Similarly, our position is even President Nixon. 
He does who have anxiety. Huh? When I shall be dethroned, when I shall be dethroned, uh, then we take protection, then we take Anyone, beginning from Lord Brahma down to the small ant, you, there is ant is going, you stop it by your finger, you will struggle. Why are you stopping? You understand? This is the way. Oh. You see the ant, when there is water, they carry their eggs on the head and they go on the wall. Up. They have also got the same feeling, affection and anxiety, everything. And a human being, or oh, the best human being in the Lord Brahma, in the topmost planet, whose life is millions and millions of years, he is also full of it. The Prahlad Maharaj said rightly that my dear, based on the demon, uh, so far I have learned that these living entities in different graves of love. So that's some of the beginning of Jiva, all is full of anxiety. Uh, why? Asadgraha! Because he has accepted this material form. Uh, therefore he must be full of anxiety. Then what is the remedy? Na hityata dhatam grihanga kupam vanamga tojad harimasa. He should give up this material entertainment, material home and material thing. He should approach the Supreme Personality of God in Vrindavan or forest and surrender unto him. That is the thing. So if you want to be free of anxiety, nobody can say that I am already free of anxiety unless he is a madman. A madman will say, I am no answer. But no sane man will say that I am free of anxiety. This is material. So if you want to become free of anxiety, then you come to the spiritual life. That is only a Harimasa. Accept the lotus feet of God. That is the mission of God. God comes Himself, God sends His Son or devotee or servant. This is uh, that religion may be different. That is not very uh, I mean, important. Anyone who has free the religious leaders all over the world, take uh, Lord Jesus Christ or Krishna, or Muhammad, or Lord Buddha. Nobody has said that he will be happy in this material world. Nobody has. He continues this manufacturing of factories and will be happy. Has anybody said? No. Back to home, back to God. Then will be This is Krishna consciousness movement. Back to home, back to God. We have to speak many things. We have got more to try to understand. And prepare yourself. Next life to go back to home, back to home. This is the business of human life. All other business is simply useless waste of time. Thank you. The question is about when you become Christian conscious, can you remember your past or see into the future? No, we, we understand past, future, everything, present. That is spiritual consciousness. Yeah. Just like Krishna says, I know past, present and future. Similarly, when you also become pure, purified in Krishna consciousness, he will also know past, present and future.
Moses. Yes. Uh, they are representative of God. That's fine. Right. How strong is the power of Krishna? <laughs> no, that can be explained. Just like there is Atlantic Ocean or Pacific Ocean and you are a drop of it. That's all. The quality is the same. A drop of Atlantic or Pacific Ocean and the ocean. If you test the drop, a small drop, it is salty, you can understand that the ocean is also salt. But the containing, the content of salt, there is very small and the contents of salt in the ocean are very big. That you cannot imagine. It is like that. God is like you and me, a person. But he is pacific or sad, we are drop. Yes. Yes. What is your question? Please. Yes. What is your doctrine? What is your doctrine? Doctrine? You want to know what the doctrine of Krishna consciousness is? Krishna consciousness means that you are part and parcel of Krishna or Lord. You being separated. Uh, I have already explained. You are suffering in this material world. So you back your father, go back to your father and be happy. Yes, sir. And because we are missing God, we are loving this thing, that thing, that thing, that thing, that thing, and frustration. That very love which is reserved for God, we are Applying it in this material world. I love my country, I love my society, I love my family, I love my dog, I my I, I love. But I am missing whom to love. That is the point. I am placing my love in so many things and I am becoming frustrated. So when we understand the love is meant for God, that is our purpose. And if you love God, then you love everything. That is perfect love. Without loving God, uh, just like you are the son of your father. So, when you love your father, naturally you love your brothers also. Because you know my father will be pleased. So, this is love. That universal love can be possible when you actually love God. Some of service to bhūtis. In material platform, that is not possible. But a devotee, a pure lover of God, he loves everyone. It's like we are. Because we have tried to love God, therefore we are wondering, touring all over the world and same message, please try to love God. We have no other message. Because we have understood to some extent that without love of God, they are suffering. So they will be happy when they begin to love God. This is our message. Question for Krishna did not want to come to this material world. Question is, if Krishna did not want to come, why are we here? Yes, he forced Krishna to allow you to come. Just like sometimes 
child, forces the father. Father says, my dear son, do not do this, do not do this. But he insists, well, I must, I must. All right, you go, at your risk. That's all. And he suffers. What can be done? Because you are God, because you are son of God, uh, God has got independence, full independence, almighty. Therefore, you have acquired the quality of your father. You have got little independence. So God does not interfere with your little independence. If you persist that I must go and enjoy independently. So God says, all right, you can go. This is the You have to take sanction. That is a fact. But when you persist, God sanctions. And you come and enjoy. Beginning from Lord Brahma down to the walls in the stool, very, very, according to your work, according to your desire, you manifest your different types of body and enjoy and suffer. That's all. That is explained. Prakriti Stohi. Bhumti Prakriti Vijan Guna. Rationally, in ten different types of punishment. Not enjoyment, but punishment. So in this way, being punished in different types of life, when we come to the sense, that sense can come in human form of life. Uh, when we understand that I have traveled uh, uh, through, uh, transmigrated from many species of life, but uh, every life I can see, not that I have forgotten, even if I have forgotten, I can see the suffering of the cats, the dogs, tiger, man, the bulldog, everyone. So, I had all this life. In the past, evolutionary process have come to this human. So I suffered all these things. So when the question comes, why shall I suffer? Oh, then they inquire. This is called Vedanta Sutta, Athatam Brahma Jitra. The inquiry of God begins. That is human life. Yes. Yeah. Lord Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita that when there is a decline in true religion, Yes. The evil increases in the world, yeah. that he manifests himself in the body, in the human body, and comes to earth to rescue the human being from their own delusions. Yes. Now, these conditions exist today. Is it here in the human form, or is it still to come? Yes, God has already come. In what form? Uh, in the form of me, Hare Krishna. Now, he says he manifests in the human form. Hmm. That God has human form, and God is everything. So, if he comes in the form of sound, where is your objection? But God is everything. He can come as a human being, or he can come in the form of sound also. Because what is this human being? You are seeing a human being displayed. That is combination of matter. Combination of matter, earth, water, fire, air, ether, this is combination. What you are saying, your eyes are also the combination. But the sound is ether. So if you accept earth as the form, what is your objection to accept ether? Because they are all material. There are two objections. One is that he says, I manifest in a human body, in a human body, such as we have here. So, and also, that requires little intelligence, that anyone who is preaching, the holy name of God, he is also God. Anyone who preaches the glories of God, he is also God. Are you God? I am servant of God. Yes, that is my business. But then by your own words you are God. But, but that does not mean that I am God. But I am equal to God. Or at least you should see like that. That is, that is explained. A guru, that is explained. Sakshad haritena samastha shastre rupta stathabhav dhateva sadhi 
किंतु प्रभो जाप्य बंधी गुरश्री चरणारविंदम गुरु पोजिशन इज लाइक दिस वर जाए साक्षात हरि इज गॉड साक्षात हरि 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 गॉड न समस्त शास्त्र इन ऑल रिविल स्क्रिप्चर इज एक्सप्लेन दैट गुरु द सर्वेंट ऑफ गॉड द सन ऑफ गॉड द टीचर इज गॉड साक्षाधरिकेन समस्त शास्त्र युक्त से तथा भावत सदी दो इंटेलिजेंट दे एक्सेप्ट लाइक दैट देन नेक्स्ट लाइक किंतु वाई ही इज गॉड किंतु प्रभु जब प्रिय इज गॉड बिकॉज ही इज वेरी वेरी डियर टू गॉड ट्रांजेक्शन इज एब्सुलट वर्ड God and a person very dear to God, he is also. But he does not think that he is God. He knows that he is far away from God. It requires little intelligence, spiritual intelligence, the absolute. How the servant of God and God is the same. Yes. Why not? <laughs> It is holy, God's message. Why should I not do it? If you want to become a drunkard, you mix with the people who drink. Then you drink little, little, little. Then you become a big drunkard. <laughs> Similarly, if you have got a little sense that I shall understand what is God, this is very much qualification. If anyone only wants Sincere, that I will understand what is God. Then your drinking business begins immediately. Uh, then if you continue, then as a drunkard becomes big drunkard, he will become a big devotee. The beginning is that you must be little anxious that how I can understand God. This is the problem. That's all. And if you are serious, then God is within you. He will give you intelligence. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Tisham satavritanam bhajatam kriti purvam buddhi yogam dadami tam. When God sees that you are sincere, He is within you. He will detect. He do like this. He do like this, and He will make an advance. <laughs> The animal did not understand me. <laughs> Because he is animal, he is thinking like that. Uh, everyone thinks others like him. That is the nature. Atobat manate jagat. He 
There is a story. He will hear it. That one gentleman, he was hard of hearing. Hard of hearing. So he is calling his wife. Mrs. such and such, Mrs. such and such. She is different. Yes, I am coming. But he is hard of hearing. He is thinking that my wife is hard of hearing. She is replying, yes, I am coming. But this rascal is hard of hearing. He is thinking my wife is, oh, that is my wife's fault. She is hard, she is hard of hearing. He cannot hear. And he is thinking that my wife is hard of hearing. This is the example. A man thinks others like himself. Yes, God is person, like you and me. You can go and talk with him, be qualified for that purpose. Nitya Nitya, this is Vedic Indian science. Nitya Nitya Nam. Chitana, Chitana Nam, God is eternal among all other eternals. We are all eternal. And God is the chief eternal. Mitra, Mitra, Chitana, Chitana Nam. We are also cognizant. And God is also cognizant. The difference is that I am cognizant with a limited space. And God is cognizant throughout the whole universe. But He is also cognizant. He is also person. I am also person. And what is defined? Eka bhunam ya vidhati kamaan. That what maintains all this innumerable universe. Therefore, in the Bible, to go and ask Lord, give us our daily bread. He is maintaining. That is the difference between God and ours. We are maintained, and God is the maintainer. We are predominated, and God is the predominator. That is different. Otherwise, He is a person, we are a person. He is eternal, we are eternal. He is cognizant, we are cognizant. And the, all the desires and propensities, what God has got, we are also God. God has got this propensity to love Radharani. So we have got also the same propensity to love another young girl or young boy. Uh, the originality is there. Therefore, in the Vedanta Sutta it is said, Janmārda Sajataha. God means from whom everything has come. So, if there is a question of love, the propensity, a man loving a woman, a woman loving a man, that is in God. It must be there. Otherwise, where from it has come? But that is pure. And here it is impure on account of this material contamination. The thing is there, but it is contaminated. Therefore, you feel frustration. So, intelligence is the why shall I remain in this contaminated position? I shall go to the pure platform. There is God consciousness. Why have no one seen Krishna's universal form before Krishna's idea? Why have no one seen 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 Krishna's Do you think you are as good as your Guru? Krishna says, Arjun, I bless him, that I am instructing to you, my dear Arjun, because you are my dear friend. Huh? And you are very great devotee. Bhaktosi, to the Osina. 
Rahasam Rita Duttamam. I am speaking to the Bhagavad Gita because you are qualified. What is your qualification? Because you are my devotee and very intimate friend. So you become also intimate friend and devotee, you will understand everything. That is our request. If Arjuna could become a friend and devotee, you can also become. Why you are losing this opportunity? That is our problem. You also become a friend, a devotee, and be happy and see Krishna as he is. That is our problem. It is not limited to Arjuna. It is meant for everyone. Ah. When Krishna says, Sarvadhanman Paritta Jumami Kam Saranamudra. He does not say only to Arjuna. He simply symbolic, representative. He says everyone. Let us take this opportunity and become like Arjuna. That is perfection of life. 